Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the tutorial presenting to you the world acclaimed winner of Ketron right now, which is the Ketron Audio keyboard. The Audio is the replacement, is a flagship uh, Ketron as of 2008, and it's the keyboard that actually replaced the uh, other award winner keyboard, the Ketron SD1 Plus. As you will notice for this present, uh, for this tutorial, we have the uh, operation system 2.0. So everything I'm going to talk about today is with reference to 2.0 or early or later. The first part I want to target on the audio, uh, Ketron is well known and well renowned for their voices and for their styles. But we're going to spend some time right now going through the voices and how to access and use the voices on the Ketron audio. The audio has over 300 voices divided into categories, into families. And those families can be found on the top right hand side of the screen right here. So for an example, if you go into the piano category, piano, to the screen on the left and right, you're going to display, it's going to display the first 10 piano voices. To select any voice on the audio, all you have to do is to press the adjacent button. So for an example, if I want to listen to the electric grand piano, all I would have to do is press F3, which is assigned to that electric grand piano. If I want to listen to the low grand piano, I would press F6, adjacent to the low grand piano. And this is true for all the voice categories. Now, in some categories, you have more than one page of voices. So for an example, if I went into the saxophone category, you're going to see here on the screen it says saxophone page one. You can go into page two and page three by pressing the sax button again to go to page two, or by using the left and right data value buttons. Again, the selection remains the same. Just press the adjacent buttons on the side. So we're going to go through a couple of voices just for you to have an idea of how the audio actually does sound like. And for this, I want to use the full piano. So for me to activate the full piano, I'm going to press the button over here called Pianist. And what the Pianist does is it allows the whole entire keyboard, all 76 keys, to be used for whatever sounds you've selected, either layer of sounds or individual voices. So press the piano button, press it again, go to page one, and I'm going to press F1 to access the grand piano button. Right here, let's listen to what the grand piano will sound like on the audio. One good thing on the audio as well, it has a, a nice feature called second voice. You can instantly assign a second voice to that grand piano. So let's say I was playing, while I'm playing I said, you know what, I want to make that voice a little bit richer. And it tells you right there on the screen what the second voice would be like, would sound like when you turn it on. So I press second voice and right there with OS 2.0, you can actually see what my second voice is. In this case, the second voice is strings. Now, if I want to change that second voice instantly, I can just hit F7 right there and it will go into my category where the voice initially uh, resided. I can change the string or I can pick another voice. Let's say I want to pick uh, uh, pad, for example, magic pad and hit exit and it will now assign that, that sound to the grand piano voice. As you will notice as well, on the screen right here for OS 2.0 or higher, you also have a nice neat feature with the left voice. I can add a left voice to my keyboard if I am in split mode. So for example, if I turn off the pianist function, now you will notice that the keyboard has a split point which I can assign by pressing the split button. Split point right now is at F, F sharp. And I can move that split point as you can see on the screen to anywhere on the keyboard. That allows me to use certain voices on the left and certain voices to the right. And in the next uh, segment of this tutorial, you're going to see also that I'm going to use this left hand side to control the styles or the rhythms of the audio. So now that I have a split point, you can hear from this point on, I do have my grand piano and my magic sound. And here I have the, the left voice, which is not on right now until I turn on the left voice. And again, the left voice can be assigned. I can make that like a flute or anything I want to put in a bottle flute sound. So now I've got the piano and the magic, magic voice on the right and the bottle and the flute on the left hand side as well. 
pretty, very, pretty neat feature, uh, given the fact that uh, uh, the engineers at Ketron have spent a lot of time trying to make this machine very user-friendly. Another neat, interesting feature that we have on the RDA, and this is going to be very, very useful for the members of the churches, is the drawbars. Now, the drawbars actually are the organ category, organ group, but in this particular category, it gives you access to the actual live drawbars as you would on a real Hammond B3 organ. So when you're playing your sound, I can actually go in there and manually edit the drawbars. As you can see, these buttons over here are all assigned to my various drawbars, and the screen displays it for you in real time exactly what you're doing on the machine. Now, you have different settings to the left and to the right of the screen as well. So you can actually edit the drawbar settings and if you like the sound you, you, you just heard, you can lock it into the F1 or into F2 or into F3. These are all different settings that were give, uh, provided to you by Ketron, uh, free of charge. So, you know, feel free to mess around with them and see what they've done and you can also make your own settings as well. Now, a nice interesting feature on here is draw unlock or draw lock. I can actually lock the drawbar settings and now with the button pressed here that allows me to use this for my arranger controls while not messing around with the actual drawbar settings because I have just locked them. Or I can go back to my normal settings if I choose to. Or I can unlock it as well and go back to normal. Okay? We also have a very nice interesting feature on here, apart from the drawbar, it's actually called the GM mode. Now in our previous products, the GM mode was actually accessed by just pretty much the MIDI files per se, but now the user can actually access the general MIDI voices instantly. By pressing the GM voice, you're actually um, allowed to select from any of these categories, again, they're all arranged in different categories or different families of voices, you're allowed to select the uh, independent or individual voices that you want to either play with or assign to the styles, which we'll talk to in the uh, styles chapter. A very interesting feature that Ketron has given on the audio is one called voiceless. Now, initially in the previous products, this was known more or less as the one touch, but it's been expanded even further, which is why we have a new name for this, as a voiceless. The voice list allows you to instantly store your favorite voices in any of these categories over here. So say for example, you are playing at a concert or you're playing at a, with a live band or a live show. Yes, you have over 350 voices per se in audio, of which you have a lot more in the hard drive, but sometimes when you're playing live, you want to be able to have a quick access to an a particular voice at any given time. So what do you do? You pretty much store your favorite voices in the voiceless category. The voiceless category again are accessible by using the group, the group buttons, piano, electric piano and what have you and the selection is made on the screen again F1 through F10. So if I go in for example in the electric piano and I want to select these are all my favorite voices I have stored in the electric piano category. As you will notice it doesn't mean that electric pianos are what are stored here. No, these become your locations and in these locations your voices that your are your favorite voices are what gets stored in here. Now another interesting uh, trick that uh, Ketron has up their sleeves on this machine is a function called voiceless to style. Now what does that really mean in plain English? Well if I come over here to my style mode button and I press that F1 tells me voice list to style is off right now, which means that the voice list selection is independent of the style selection. So no matter what styles you play with, you put salsa, merengue, zouk, ballads, and pops, the voice list remains permanent, it remains stagnant, it does not change. And this might be useful for a guy who is playing, for example, on stage, and you might be going from song to song, but you want to maintain those voices for every song you want to use in that performance. However, the other feature or the other option is having the voiceless turned on, voiceless to style turned on. And what that means is when you select a style, for an example, I can go into the ballad category and I can pick the pop ballad style. The pop ballad style is attached to its own favorite voices, which you can of course edit and change as you see fit. So now when I go into my voice list, I have a whole different set of voices here to mess with that were assigned to that style. 
if during the performance I can now go and select another style, okay, let's say the DJ disco style.